hey guys welcome to this rpa session and in this uh, in today's tutorial i'm going to teach you about the ui path studio and uh, how to add activities inside uh, of the ui path okay a, a ui path is a rpa tool and uh, once you will open your ui path studio or community version it will look like this so here you can see that it is our main page and this is our activities and here we have to add the activities here and this is my property menu so whatever the activities you will drag here then you can see the properties of that uh, particular activity so today I am going to add here message box I will type here message box no first of all before adding message box we have to either use sequence or flowchart basically we will we have to just uh, add our activity either in inside of the sequence or inside of the flowchart so I prefer flowchart I will write here flow C I will drag it over here and this is it is flowchart is added here okay so if you want to change the name of this flowchart so double click over here and whatever name you want to give it this particular flowchart so I will give it a my flowchart my flow okay I have given this particular flow um, this flowchart I have named it of my flow okay so my next activity is message box I will type here message then box once I will write here message box you can see that message box is reflecting here so I will click here and drag it inside of the main flow and uh, I will double click here and first of all I have to add it with a start node right click here and set a start node then it has been just connected with my start node double click here and uh, you can see this blue symbol it means that we have not fulfilled or not we have not fulfilled all the criteria of this uh, message box so that's just because of this uh, blue symbols is reflecting over here it says that value for a required activity argument text was not supplied so whenever inside of your flowchart or sequence you will whenever you will see this blue symbol it means that you are somewhere you are wrong and you have to just correct that particular activity okay so in double quote I'm going to write here like uh, hello world and I will run it either I can press F5 or I can press run button I will press here run and you can see that my message box is reflecting here okay so again I will click here in the message box then you can see this message box properties over here so I just want to give it a title I will say that uh, hi right now you can see that it is it shows that message box so you have you need if you want to change the title of this message box then you simply need to go to the properties panel and inside of this title you can just press uh, right here in uh, in double quote hello how how are you and whatever you uh, things you want to write here you can just write here uh, again I will press here then you can say that my title is also reflecting over here okay and uh, if I want to print here a date so I will write here date then dot I want to reflect the today date then it is still shows that because my date is a number and we can print inside of the message box only text value so I have to convert it to the text so I'll press dot over here and to a string to a string means text it will convert this to a text value I will again go to the my flowchart I will run it then you can see that today's date is reflecting over here so in this way if you want to just uh, if you want to add variable inside of the message box you also can add uh, variables inside of the message box so how you can add message box inside uh, uh, variables inside of the message box so I'm going to delete it so in this uh, main page here you can see different kind of symbols like copy recording screen scrapping data scrapping user events and create variables just click here and whatever whatever kind of value you like to add here so you can add so I'm going to use this text variable once I will click here this di dialog box will be open so by default it says that variable one so I like to choose 
variables according to my way so so always just uh, write here some uh, meaningful name so so i'm going to change the variable one to the my first variable okay i will press okay once i will press okay then you can see that my f uh, variable is showing inside of the my variable pane so right now the uh, this is my variable name the variable type is a string okay so you can also change this variable type according to your uh, according to your need okay so this is my scope okay so right now only have one scope here my flow that is why it shows only my flow if you have multiple uh, flow charts then it will just uh, once you will press drop down in inside of this drop down you can see all these uh, flows okay so a scope means like a private way just like in coding you have uh, you know about that we use private variable public variable it is same kind of thing okay so my default value is nothing so i will add here inside of the code uh, hello i will write here hello this is my first variable okay now i will click here in variable then automatically it will disappear from here and now it is still showing this error message so i will double click here because we have not passed any value inside of the message block this is that's why we are seeing th this error message so my var variable is my i will just press m and my variable is reflecting over here i will press tab and i will click uh, anywhere inside of this flow and then i will go to my flow chart my flow i will run it again so you can see that my variable is reflecting here hello this is my first variable so in this way you can just use uh, variable and uh, if uh, you want to pass any text value so you can just use inside of the your message box okay so i hope uh, you like uh, you like this video uh, you like this video and uh, this will help you in rpo training thank you for watching have a nice